getting dressed for the day. Closet organization is so key, right? Yeah, oh my god. Of course gosh. it is. <laughs> Here to show us how to take a clothes hanger and turn it into an actual shoe rack is the amazing Orly. Cameron, this is amazing. You did not say that wrong. We literally are taking is, a hanger and turning it into a shoe. I rack. thought you meant the amazing part I didn't get wrong. Oh. I was like, and the humble. <laughs> yes, I am amazing. No, no but the it fact is amazing. that we are actually doing this with hangers, and so not only is okay. this going to be super functional, it's got a little whimsy to it, and it's got like a little wink wink, which is so fun. If anyone sees this, whether it's in your closet or as the shoe rack at your front door, people are instantly going to be like, wait a minute. Are those hangers? Like it is so fun and so cool. It, it just makes me like smile. It's floating too a little bit. It does. It's, it's got cool. a real cool mid-century yeah. modern vibe to it. The shape of it, which is exactly. really awesome. It's so on trend right now. Exactly. Let's get started. What do we do first? So what you <clears> need <throat> is one by twelve wood. That's the wood we're using here. This okay. is just pine, and you need wooden hangers. Got it. Those are the two main materials to actually make this come together. Now the one by twelve is great because that's gonna. It's going to be able to fit most shoes. So that 12 inch width you really need. Sure. And the length of it is going to just depend on exactly uh, how many shoes you want to be able to hold. And the space that you're filling with this, right? Exactly, so you exactly. So you, you can, can make it custom. You can as long and short as you want. Okay, very exactly. good. Exactly. So then we got to get to actually att attaching these hangers. Yeah. Uh, to, you said obviously wood hangers. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to tell us how to take that off too. But I mean, I, I was wondering when I saw this whether it was those hangers, you know, yeah. they have the little curve to them yeah. or are they sort of the straight ones? No, you're correct. This one does have the curve there. You can kind of see it bows mm. Out. The side of the hanger that actually curves outward yep. is what we are going to put against the wood. So it. It's actually going to get drilled into the wood this All right, way. So it's kind of curving away from the, the project. Yeah, the exactly, project. exactly. So just keep that in mind. And we've I've already kind of spent some time unscrewing this, but it will come out. It's it is a screw, so you can see the actual grooves in there. So you just take some time, pull and unscrew at the same time, and eventually it'll just pop right out. And then once you got it ready to go, you got to figure out how it orient, orients on on top of the wood itself. Yeah, exactly. So when you look at the hanger, these little rounded bottoms are our base. And what's so cool about it is at first I thought, oh, we're gonna need to sand it, oh, we're gonna need to put like pads. You don't actually. This is strong enough, especially when you have the support of all four. Oh. Keeps everything balanced, it's not wobbly at all. Great. So Cameron, would you hold this sure. piece of wood up? Like just, uh, just kind of like right to this middle. Okay. The first row mm. is going to go into this main beefy part of the hanger. That's where I our first see. one's gonna go. I see. Okay. So what I recommend doing, and I'm gonna grab a um a pencil here. What I recommend doing is lining up. See this like curve here where the little line is? That you want right at the bottom line so that this line connects right into this line. What you're gonna do is just drill, pre-drill a hole in your hanger and into your wood and put only one screw in. Okay. At that point, you're able to move it. It's in place, but it's adjustable as far as tweaking it. Okay, very and, good. And actually, will you hold that up one yeah, more time sure. for me? Let's oh, say. Oh, I see. This is how we're gonna get it square. Yeah. So let's say it's like this. That's not enough support. If you angle it so that it's perpendicular, if you've got a square at home or mm -hmm. even just an L ruler for, yep. for fashion, it's totally fine. You want to line it up evenly like that. That's what's gonna give you the support. Once it's lined up, mark it, pre-drill it, and put those. And screws that's in. where the second screw will yes. go in for for maximum support. Exactly. Okay, very and good. that keeps everything at the right height so that the hangers really are going to do the job of holding it up. Okay, we're gonna, take you take you? these, I'll yep. jump ahead here to this guy. Yes. And I think we're going to illustrate that, right? So yeah. go like this, Perfect, this yes, let's put that forward. Let's okay. put that right here Good. if you can. I promised you I would clean up uh, as we went, but I lied to you. Okay, no, I was talking to you. Okay, so here it is. First of all, you can see there are the two uh, screws that we talked about. The first one I put in to adjust it, and it's lined up to the bottom. Then if you take this, you can see we're perfectly perpendicular. So we put the two in there and the two in there for our bottom shelf. Now, when you're figuring out where to put the top shelf, it yep. really is based off of your shoes. So there's okay. two options there. One is literally take your shoes and put them on and be like, okay, I need enough room that I'm not like sliding it, you know, against yep. and add an inch or two. Right. The other is hangers like this for the most part, you really don't have much room to play. You've got about a half an inch before you are You're almost off going the edge. to the top of the hanger. So, so just give you yourself the top and okay. then and then you would do the same, pre-drill, pre-drill and go in and now you've got two on one side. Beautiful. So let's let's show how we actually kind of finish this exactly. up. Exactly. One left to do. I know we've got this guy down here, and you talked about pre drilling, yeah. which is done. So, when you pre drill, you also want to put the screws in so you've got just the little tip sticking out there because otherwise it would be very hard to like line it up and see. So, got now it. I'm able to actually take them, put them right in there, and put them, and I'm hooked in. I can feel that I'm hooked in. Okay, beautiful. And so, now would you go ahead and just sure. do, do that, that part do for that. me? We'll Thank get you these so much. Down here like this. And you're just going to drill each one in. And so basically the most important part here is going to be the very first aligning of it. And 
I will tell you that really the, we did the hard work in figuring out how to make it so that it can rest on those ends and that perpendicular level is really the important part of making sure that when you sit it down now it's super sturdy. This is amazing. So it comes now we together can lay this so down. well too. It really does okay. and it's not going to it's not going to teeter. It's going to be strong enough which is really cool. Fantastic. Now is the fun part. Which is how do you want to design it? There you go. How now do you want to design you it? Put your personal flair all over this. I you sure did. How about we paint it pink? and put some pearls to cover the screws. Can you see that I thought of you when I did this? I designed this so specifically Listen, for you. it looks fantastic. Thank you, I think so too. So when originally I was putting this together, I thought, oh man, this would be really cool as something in like in my closet or in like a dressing room. So not only did I paint it like a shimmery pink, but you can see for this version, I also covered up the screws with little flat pearls because in this version, the screws don't really make sense. If you wanted to do something like this and keep it a really pretty natural yeah. wood or stained wood or or matte black, leave the screws because it totally fits and it's cool and it's rustic and it's masculine. Like me, like I mean, this is this is yes. this has got my name written all exactly. over it. Exactly. Appreciate that, very <laughs> early. You've done it again. This is Thank very you, very cool, everybody. Very Make sure cool. you go to HallmarkChannel.com. Full instructions will be there. Fantastic.